Oh, it's Mr. Toots, the Jedi, I believe. And today we're doing Star Review 3 Part 3. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to be a blast putting a smile on your face. Okay, so I'm going to pause the music. I didn't want that to happen. And let's go to the Star Review, which is so much fun. Star Review's ruled. You're going to get one of these every week. It's going to be the best part of your week. Oh. Okay, go to the back page. We're going to do several of these problems and get through this. Okay, these three problems are going to repeat all the way until Christmas. So get used. This is one of the most important things you're learning in here. It's not that difficult, okay? So let's zoom in to number 18. Okay, to do this problem, we're going to write down Y. Oh, Y. Oh, I don't want it in blue. I want it in red. Okay, so Y equals GX plus S. So to go from a verbal description to an equation, I always use this. It makes it simpler. So if you read this problem, Emma Sue has $30. That's your starting number. And she spends $2 each day. That's your growing number. Since she's spending money, her, her money won't go up. It will go down on it. So the equation is going to be negative 2X plus 30. Okay. So negative 2X plus 30. The slope of the line is negative 2. Okay. Now then, right up here, let's look at this. Remember, slope is y per x. This is extremely important. You're getting this. Underline your slope right here. Okay. It's going to be $2 per or each day. The dollars would be your y. The days would be your x, wouldn't they? So it represents $2 per day. This will be your, oh, this will be your Y, this will be your X, okay? That is important. So my Y will be dollars, my X will be days. Okay, let's go to the next part. What would the Y intercept of this graph be? When is she, the Y intercept is going to be 30 in it. Okay, so the Y intercept is 30. And remember, the 30 is your starting amount. It's the starting amount of money. Now then, what would the X intercept be? When would she run out of money? How many times could she spend two bucks with $30? Excellent, 15, right? So the X intercept's 15. At 15 days, she has $0. So at 15 days, she has $0. Oh, okay, let's go to graph it. So to graph this, remember, this doesn't have to be like a perfectly accurate graph. We know our Y intercept's 30. So I'm going to dot here, and I'm going to put a 30 right here. And then my y-axis is dollars, and my x-axis is days. Make sure you're labeling these every time. And then this is going to go down to 15. So I'm just going to put somewhere down here and put a 15. Doesn't have to be, like, perfectly accurate, okay? And then just connect the dots. That's all you got to do. Don't make this too difficult. Try to draw a straighter line than me. But every day she spends two bucks. At 15 days, she would be out of money, wouldn't she? Now then, this is important, what you just learned. The domain, let me do this in green, the domain starts from zero and goes to 15, doesn't it? That's my domain, right? My range would go from the zero up to the 30, wouldn't it? Okay? So my domain is going to go from zero to 15, and my range is going to go from zero to 30. So the domain is going to be 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 15 because the domain goes from 0 to 15 and my range goes from 0 to 30. 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 30. You will get the hang of these because you're going to be doing these every week, okay? This right here is huge, this concept. This is a big chunk of your star test right here. This is probably the most tested part, okay? You're doing lots of information right here. Let's go to here to this one. This one's going to be tough because we got to solve for B. This is about as hard as you're going to get on this. Okay, so I want to get the B all by itself. Notice I got to get rid of the 2, the D, and the C, don't I? So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of that fraction. And I'm going to blue belt truck the 2. So I'm going to put a 2 on the top, a 2 on the top. So these 2's will cancel out. 
And then I'm going to write over here 2A equals B plus C times D. Okay, the next step is to get rid of that D because this is in a parentheses. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in some more so y'all can see it better. I'm going to draw two fraction bars. And I'm going to divide both sides by D, not 2, but D. That's going to cancel these Ds out. Notice, I'm canceling out a letter every single time, aren't I? So I have 2A over D equals B plus C. Now then, all I've got to do to get the B by itself is to take that, let me do it in purple, is to take the C and move it across. And remember, we've been doing this in the, the slope intercept and all that. When you move that C across, it'll go from a positive to a negative. So it's going to be 2A over D minus C equals B. Now listen, this is not easy. This will start clicking, okay? Let's get it. You'll get it, okay? I'm going to start you off on this one. This one, let's get rid of that fraction. So we're going to put, oh, we're going to put a 4 and a 4. These cancel out, and you'll have 4A equals 3B plus 2C. Now then, you want to get this C all by itself. So y'all should be able to do that. Y'all see how I got rid of the fraction right off the bat? Try to get rid of that, try to get rid of that term in front of the parentheses right off the bat. It makes it simpler. You're going to move the 3B over and divide by 2, aren't you? So you move the 3B over, you'll have minus 3B, divide the whole thing by 2, and that will be your answer. And let's go down to number 25. Okay, fun stuff. So we're going to write and solve an inequality. So this won't be an equation, it'll be an inequality. And this will have GX plus S. So write this down. GX plus S and then put total. So we're going to get a GX plus S and a total. Okay, Bubba Bob has $30. He needs at least $50, doesn't he? So this is going to be our starting number. And this right here is going to end up being our total. So we know we start off with 30. We want to end up with 50. Okay. He wants at least 50 bucks to buy two homecoming dance tickets and have a dinner date with his girlfriend, Emma Sue. Oh, oh, oh. Going to treat her nice. So oh, take her to the football game and then go, go get some tacos. <laughs> his dad has agreed to pay him $5 every hour he works cleaning the garage and the attic. What a deal. Five bucks an hour. Write this situation so this five would be our growing number, would it? Agree? So we know our growing number, our starting number, and our total. Write this situation as an inequality and solve for the minimum number of hours. Okay, so we're going to have 5x plus the starting number is 30, and then put 50 over here. He wants at least $50, right? So at least $50 means that this has to be more than 50, right? So we want this amount to be over or at least 50. That means it's going to be greater than or equal to. Now then, you should be able to solve this. I'm not going to solve it for you. You're going to move the 30 over and divide by the 5. Does everyone see how we created the inequality? Okay, you're going to do the same thing. 26 is pretty much the same. Have a blast doing this. You're going to become a better student by doing these star reviews. It is going to make you a stronger math student. And remember, always believe. Oh, is it going to show up? Where's my picture? This is like slowing down. There it is. Is it going to pop up? Uh-oh, technical difficulties. Will this one pop up? There it goes. Will this one pop up? Uh-oh. Is it going to work? The picture's not showing up, but you are awesome. Oh, oh, oh.